Today we're looking at Slacks, a 2021 horror movie directed by Elza Kephart and starring Romaine Dennis about a pair of killer pants that terrorizes a clothing chain store full of shallow, self-absorbed employees. Ready. The premise of this movie kind of lets you know exactly what you're getting into going in. And if you like these kind of movies, you probably won't be disappointed. But I think even if you don't normally watch really weird B-horror movies like this, you will probably still enjoy it. Tonally, it almost falls into Zoolander territory at times. There isn't really anything to take seriously at first. All of the characters are satirical caricatures of really fake, self-involved assholes and none of their reactions are realistic, with the exception of the main character, Libby, who is the anchor of the whole situation. She's extremely likable, but is kind of the only real person in a sea of cartoonish characters that you really just can't wait to see be murdered by pants. Speaking of pants, the pants in this movie are puppeted completely practically, and it's hilarious. It's just a pair of pants, a lot of times scooting on the ground to its next kill, sometimes actually walking around. It even gets a couple of dance scenes. It's pretty great. And the kills are solid too. Also done practically, the gore ramps up steadily as the movie goes on, and it all looks really good. After the first few deaths, you might actually start to wonder if it's all gonna be PG-13 kills with blood spraying on the walls from off screen. But I assure you, after a while, it gets way better. I won't get into any details to avoid spoilers, but I'll say the most surprising thing about this movie is that at a certain point, it actually manages to make you feel bad for the pants. Believe it or not, by the end of this, they actually pull that off. I won't say how, but there is a pretty clear message in this movie that you'll start to pick up on pretty early, and by the end, they convey the message really well, better than I thought they would, and I think they deserve major props for that. It hits its humor all through the movie, and towards the end starts to sprinkle serious moments in, and the last few minutes of the movie leaves you sincerely feeling a certain way. I'm gonna give this a solid 7 out of 10. It's a crazy B-movie premise but with a high production value, deeper subtext, and a great cast that will probably elevate it beyond the normal audience for this kind of stuff. It's got a good message that everybody can get behind, and it's conveyed really well. It's definitely worth checking out for anybody, really, whether you usually like oddball B-movies like this or not, and there aren't a whole lot of negatives. It's on Shudder. Check it out. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Until next time.